How's it going, guys? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. So, uh, we're doing pretty good right now. We got uh, 13 colonists strong, and uh, lately, we've been very, very stable, which is very important. And look at all the zombies out here. So, we are getting more zombies now that our colony is much, much larger. Uh, another day of work for these guys. So for right now, uh, like I said in the last episode, I wanted to finish up this large castle here. I obviously don't want to uh, have a risk of falling when I do climb up it because my health is only at 50%. And I have no idea how to improve my health once again, by the way. I, I it's, not, it's not going up any more than 50, so I'm, I can't really buy anything in here. It doesn't seem like I can do anything. Is this two guys... Yes, it's two guys at one. I don't even know what that other guy would be doing, because uh, we got the uh, merchant here, and then we got the uh, mint maker. So there's some other guy just randomly sitting there. It's a little bit worrisome. All right, but let's get working on this. So I'm just going to kind of close off this middle here, I think. Uh, that's probably the best way to do this. So we're just going to start building a wall up that way. Uh, you know what? Should it be a wall all the way up? I think it should. That looks pretty cool. All right, so we'll expand out this lower wall here, and we're just going to start building that all the way up. I think I'll put the roof, like, right there, and then we're just going to hide the stairs. Now, is there anything that I really need over here? I guess we can just have storage space over here just in case we need it, but I am going to, uh close off all of this. All right, so now it just looks like it's just some stairs and we have to make our way up. Now, obviously, I'm going to be building this wall all the way up as well. Uh, all right, we'll close this off. You know what? We could have floors in here too for whatever reason. I, we, I mean, there's nothing we really need right now, but later on when this game is updated, it might come in handy to have some floors in here for different crafting stations and whatnot. So we have lots of stone. I spent a, a day or two collecting stone once again so I can finish this up, so, you know what, let's just add some floors in here, and you know what, it might be smart to add some windows to make it look a little bit more presentable, so we'll just, whoop, that's wrong button once again, we'll just open it up, oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Alright, let's just put a roof right about there, that should be more than tall enough for a decently sized roof, and we can start building up upon this. Now, I'm going to build a wall from the roof as well, so we may as well do that, and then just finish up this roof over here. So that looks good just like that, I guess we can just keep that open, there we go, a little bit of headroom. Now obviously, do we want to add another floor? I don't, you know what? We, I guess we can, because we have enough room in here, so fuck it, we'll do it. We'll add one more floor in here, and have a true tower. Not that we can really put too much in here just yet, uh, but it should be fun to do. You know what? <laughs> Maybe we should just close this off, because it really is just a hallway, so I think... I think we'll just close this off, and, uh, we don't need a, an extra floor anyways. Alright, but there we go, so now we shouldn't need to kill ourselves on the stairs, mind you. Maybe I should add... Uh, ooh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, I am not very good at building, by the way, guys, but, uh, I think I should probably add... You know what? There's no way I'm gonna fall down that, so I don't think I need anything here, actually. Plus, I wouldn't be able to get over here if I did build a wall there, so worst case scenario, I fall from this high and nothing happens. Alright, and I'm just gonna close this up because originally we had planned to have a little room in here, but it just didn't really work out, and it would look dumb if we did have a room that, uh, had nothing there, so... There we go. Officially, we should be done with this tower for right now. So we go up here. There we go. And the beautiful outside. How's our farms doing? All right. So that's something we probably can do next. We should have enough seed. Look at all our gold <laughs> coins. <laughs> Holy crap. That mint is working in overtime. And the amount of gold ore we have. We might need to recruit another smelter here. We got lots of iron and gold. Not that we really need it. I mean, look at the fucking iron ingots that we got right now. All right, but what I'm curious about is wheat seeds. So we got 144 right now. That means we got enough for another field and about for a, enough for another half one as well. So we'll just build one for right now. And we also got that flax now, don't we? Okay, there is no flax in there. How do we get the flax? I forget. I thought it was with this station. Yes, you can uh, get flax seeds. It needs gold coin. Put it in the ground. Okay, well, obviously, yeah. I just want to see what the flax does. I don't know how to get them to buy it for me, though, because I can't do anything in here. All right, doesn't matter. Everyone's going to bed anyway, so while these guys go to bed, let's build another field here. Ooh, the zombies are already out, so we got to work quick here. Uh, we are going to need to take down this tree, so we should be able to just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Get rid of it. We may also get rid of this one, too. Get rid of everything around these fields. That way we have more open space. 
All right, the zombies are a-coming. How, how am I doing for, uh... Okay, arrows are starting to go down a little bit. I thought I made, like, 400, but I guess there is more zombies coming in now. So I'm just gonna clear out this field real quick. So I can make my field without worrying about the damn zombies. All right, I really feel like... Okay, now it looks weird that there's not another floor there because we could definitely use some more windows. It's not gonna be the most prettiest of castles, but it's gonna work, damn it. All right, so we're gonna recruit a wheat farmer here, and we'll start right... Oh, okay, right in the corner here, and another 10 by 10, just like that. I wonder if I need to recruit the flax farmer for them to uh, make the flax seeds, or buy the flax seeds. That might be the case, so I think we should maybe do that later on. Or I guess technically we could do it right now, too. All right, so these guys, we should be totally fine here. So the flax I'm gonna build over here. And again, we can always delete this field if we do want to. Okay, so these guys are far enough away. No big deal. And I don't know if flax also needs 10 by 10. I'm going to assume it will. It should be about the same, so there we go. 10 by 10. A flax field as well. All right, let's get some light in here. So we got all these torches, so I'm going to try and light up all the dark areas here. Uh, definitely could use one kind of over here. Uh, these things are not going to be perfect, but it's just to get light everywhere. So there we go. Uh, I, I know some people like the perfectly placed torches, but that should be good. Now going up the stairs, yeah, it's going to be very dark around each corner here. So we're just going to put a torch around each corner, and I guess we can put some up here as well. All right, so now that we have light all the way to the roof, and you know what? There's no light up here, so... Oh, crap, I got rid of all my torches. Can we make any more? Planks and coal ore. Coal ore is something I actually don't have, so we might want to recruit another miner for that. Mind you, it doesn't really matter if we don't have light up there. It doesn't need to be perfect right now, but at least now this whole place is lit. It's looking really nice in here. I should probably light out the outside as well. Okay, how- I've only got 15 arrows left? So yes, arrows are going to be of utmost importance very, very soon, but, uh, seems like my guards- I was worried I didn't have enough guards, but they are holding out very, very well right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, next thing on the agenda is to get rid of, obviously, this gross green grass, and I'm scared because I don't know what happens if I take away the beds. You know what, let's try it. We're just going to- Take away this bed. Now, does that get rid of... No, it doesn't get rid of one of my colonists. So, as long as it's the daytime, we can probably do some rearranging around here. So, let's have, let everyone wake up. There you go, guys. Get to work, and we are going to quickly... I'm almost wondering, should I bring these down into the mine? Should we have, like, a dwarven colony here uh, that sleeps in the mines? Because there's so much room down there, and there's really not that much room in our actual castle. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's try it out. That's going to be easier to deal with that green grass as well. Uh, because we have all this space down here. I keep expanding it out, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be not enough room, because uh, you only really do need one ore to mine indefinitely, so all these ores over here are pointless. We don't actually need them. So yeah, I think I'm just going to... I'm, I, I don't know if people will be happy about this, but I think I'm just going to put the beds all the way down this wall down here, and we can have, like, a bunker underground. And, and the benefit of this is I'm still expanding this out. We need stone, and we can't hire people to make stone, so I need to actually mine this. So uh, I think it's probably really good that it's down here, because this is going to expand out as well. So we need planks and straw for that. We got lots of that stuff. Actually, we don't have too many planks, but we should be able to... We should hire... A woodcutter. That's something we definitely do need in the near future. So I'm just going to make a bunch of beds here. As many as I can, really. Uh, well, okay. I didn't expect I could make 19 beds. I thought I could make, like, maybe five. So <laughs> beds are pretty cheap in this game. So we're just going to uh, seriously prepare down here and get lots and lots of beds. Oh, can you double bed? No fucking way! Are we all going to share a bed here? That's amazing. I did not know they connect and make one big bed. Uh, you know what? Before we go too crazy here, it says I have 31 beds right now, so I'm assuming it works. I'm just wondering how the hell do they get in these. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We have one more bed. Let's just connect all these beds together. I didn't expect it to work that way. And now we just have, like, a, a king, king, king size bed that goes all the way down the wall. That would be great. Okay, I can't... I hope people go in that bed back there because I can't wait to see how it works. So we obviously have lots of spots now to recruit some more colonists. I don't want to go too crazy, but looking at our food, we're doing just fine. So uh, we can recruit a few. I do want to get a woodcutter and one more maybe coal miner. Actually, before we go down or leave this, let's actually 
tell them what to mine. So yeah, we only got uh, two miners right now, gold and iron. We need the coal. I'm, I don't know what this stuff's for, so maybe we should even get that. Uh, no, I don't want flax farmer. Hold on here. Miner. So there we go. We can get some coal. And you know what? Let's get someone to do that as well. And we're just going to go to the banner tool. The great thing about this is you can, you can recruit colonists anywhere. So I'm going to recruit... We're going to go up to 18 colonists, uh, two jaw. oh shit, how much food do they, okay, didn't use too much food. Uh, one is currently unemployed, so we did fill up those jobs automatically. Uh, that's right, because we did have the wheat field as well that needed to be filled. Now, the flax farmer, I'm hoping that works out, because I don't know how else we get flax seeds. I'm hoping it's just automated when we need them, uh, they make them. Okay, so this guy needs a pickaxe, uh, yes, we're going to do that real quick. Let's get that guy all set up. All right, so we're going to make a couple of those because we probably do need a couple. There we go. These guys are going to work. Now, what is the, what, what do you need? Oh, yeah, you're you're the unemployed guy, so we got to figure out what we want to do with you. Now, I don't know how the forester works. Saplings and an axe placed on grass dirt. Oh, you actually do make your own field. So, once again, we can just go over here and expand out our fields. Now, yes, uh, I was worried about that. This miner does not have the seeds he... This miner. Wait, it does say miner. Oh, yeah, that's because I'm placing something. I'm an idiot. Uh, but yes, this flax farmer doesn't have the seeds he needs, so we gotta figure out how to deal with that. Uh, I'm gonna make a forester right now, though, and we'll just make... Uh, again, I have no idea of the optimal size, so we're just gonna make them all 10 by 10 because it seems to work quite well. All right, so I didn't expect that. I figured a forester would just go out and mine trees or harvest trees. And no, you actually do it just like a farm. So we are going to have lots of farmlands down here. That reminds me, we should put down some more barrels as well or crates. That way, all these residents are happy. So we'll put one there and we'll just put one kind of over here for these two guys as well. All right, but I know that woodcutter is going to need an axe. He's probably waiting in here for one, so let's go make him that. Yes, he is. All right, so there we go. We got an axe as well, and maybe getting that crafter might be smart as well now. Oh, look at that, that little green tunic. Gotta love it. Is that guy still in here? Is there... Okay, there's not double this time. How do we get... I just... I don't know how to get the... Bo... Just buy them. Oh, holy shit. So, wait, there's one... I think one flax seed requires, yeah, 200 gold coins. So I just assumed that a flax seed would be a couple gold coins, but no. I guess they are very, very expensive. So we are almost at the point where we can get one, one flax seed. Holy shit. So we might need some more minters. We might need to have a whole minting manufacturing plant uh, because I'm assuming one flax seed, we need 100 for a whole fucking field. So uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, well, now that we know that... Oh, I forgot. Everybody went to sleep downstairs. All right, well, it seemed to work. I didn't even go down. I was busy killing zombies all night. Uh, but it seemed to actually work, so that's good. Now, I am going to work on the castle today. We still got lots of stone and whatnot, so I figured that's the best option right now. We do got pretty much everything set up, aside from the flax field, of course. So I guess we should probably get rid of that flax field. Oh, my God. Look at how... <laughs> Oh, man, you plant little saplings and they grow in the big old trees and this guy chops them down. That is amazing. So, uh, yeah, now we don't need to worry about wood. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this job for right now because it's obviously going to be a while before we can do that. All right, so we're going to remove that area. Hopefully this guy, yeah, he goes back to being unemployed. We are going to need more guards and whatnot very soon, so that's fine. Actually, how are we doing for seeds now? All right, we got 61 weed seeds. You know what? He might not be able to do a whole field, but it's probably going to be a good idea to get as much food as possible. So let's do that. All right, so wheat farmer. There we go. And bam, now we got another wheat field until we can figure out our flax issue. Now, hopefully we gain some more seeds very soon because these guys are all harvesting. Now, uh, where's my cooker? I'm, I'm, I'm like losing people. Did I lose a colonist? There's nobody unemployed, so I'm assuming we're totally fine. Let's actually... Hire one more colonist and make sure everyone is still alive because I have no idea where he would have went. Okay, banner tool, recruit colonists. There we go. Is this guy considered? Yes, he's considered unemployed. So I am going to get some more guards before the end of the night, so that's no big deal. Uh, we need to get this guy minting as much as possible. So how are we doing for gold? Okay, so we have two gold ingots, and look at all this gold ore. So that is telling me that we need some more smelters down here. Is my smelter... Yeah, my, 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 my smelter dude's just doing it down here. Holy crap, we got way more miners now. Look at all this. I don't even know what this guy... Who are you? What are you doing down here? I have no idea who this guy is. So, uh, yeah, he's just checkmarking. I really wish you could hover over them and it would say what they did or something. 
Uh, because I don't remember what the red tunic does. This is obviously my smelter, dude. So I'm gonna get another smelter, which we need stone bricks for. So let's do, uh, oh, okay. The oven's up there, but also the furnace. Okay, so we'll do two more. Uh, we are getting to the pretty crazy area of this game where we're getting almost too many residents. It's getting, it's, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming now. Let's just say that. So we'll do one more for right now. That should make, yes everyone employed and that should hopefully lower his workload now how is my uh wheat guy doing so we got uh, lots of straw but we don't have yeah we have all the bread and no wheat so that's a good sign that my cook is doing just fine with the uh, workload he has so so hopefully that extra smelter will help with the uh refining of the ore here and uh yeah we're doing pretty good right now so obviously what i gotta do now oh, i'm so worried can i just i can't well, I can't get rid of the flag, so how am I gonna... I think I might just keep that grass just in case, because the worst thing that would happen is I get rid of that flag, and then I lose the game. Alright, well, let's see what we can do with blocks. Maybe I can hide it somehow, so we're just gonna quickly fill this in. I love how quick this tool is, by the way. Building in this game is uh, pretty damn easy, which is nice in a creative game, obviously, because... Uh, Slow building is one of the most annoying things in a sandbox game for me. So that was already 50? Holy crap. Alright, but getting rid of this green grass is going to be very pleasing for me. Just, uh, this is like the final uh, thing that's kind of an issue with my castle. Now we can just focus on uh, building the castle here and making it look better and better. Alright, well that was over 100 stone just to fill in that. But there we go, we got that done. And what I'm going to do here, I think... Oh, 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 no, I don't want to recruit a colonist. Uh, I'm wondering if I can just kind of hide it here, kind of like, I guess that. Now, technically, the flag's not guarded, so it should be totally fine, and that at least hides that very ugly grass. I know, I'm very picky. It's not, it doesn't look the best over here, but uh, it should be good enough. And it looks like it is nighttime, so everybody is getting ready to go to bed. That is just great. I'm curious how many zombies we have now. Let's go actually to the top of the tower and watch them come in. All right, here comes the first wave. So yeah, we got guys. I mean, it's not as bad as it seems. I'm really curious. Ooh, is that? Okay, that's a dead zombie. I was like, is that a dead human there? But no, this guy's already sniping them, which is great. Uh, it's great watching these archers too. They are a really good guard unit. I was worried they would be kind of pointless, but uh, no, they are doing all the job for me. And I really don't have to worry about the zombies as long as I don't leave the place. You can see uh, they are adding up in numbers though. I'm curious to see when we do fill up all these beds how crazy it's going to be. But that reminds me, we do have one unemployed colonist here, and we need him... Uh, I guess we could just put him now up on these things as well. Uh, putting them up on the wall seems to be the best idea. So we have... Do we have a... Oh, we don't have any more quivers? All right, that's fine. We're going to need a few quivers. Let's put them in there. You know what? Let's get some stockpile of bows, too. There we go. We got eight, and we can recruit... One more guard, because we're probably going to need it. It's getting to the point where we're getting quite a few. Uh, you know what? We're going to put him, because there's a lot of guys that come from this way as well. We're gonna just going to put him right in the middle here. That way he can guard uh, where everybody's sleeping as well. So he can also look out, but he can guard if uh, any of the zombies do come in. So there we go. We got that there. Now that guy should... Oh, fuck. I fell out. Oh, God. That's scary. Now he should come up, though. I think he was probably sleeping, so I probably woke him up. Let's see if he's coming up the stairs yet. Nope. I just want to see what they are doing down here, because I haven't seen them sleep yet. There he is! Get to work, you little shithead! Alright, good luck out there, buddy. I hope you don't kill yourself. But yes, here we go. We got all the sleeping residents. Is anybody sharing the bed yet? We got one guy! Ah, <laughs> oh, one guy in the very long bed. So we need to recruit a few more to see that bed fill up. Oh, no! For... Oh, thank God. Okay, so... Uh, I thought it was 200 gold coins for one flaxseed, but no, that is not the case. It's for two, for a hundred. So for, for for a full field, uh, it costs that much. So that's a little bit more acceptable. So obviously we're gonna get right on that, because uh, that's one thing we have no idea what it does. Obviously flax is usually used to make either rope or clothing, but we're not gonna find out until we actually have a flax farm up. So let's start doing that and. Finally, we can get into the flax here. So there we go. Uh, 
That should be good. And now we need to employ one more resident. So let's do that. Go to the banner tool, recruit a colonist. Now he should be ready to go right away. So yes, now we are officially at 20 colonists. Now our food's dropping a little bit. We're using 100 food a day now. So obviously that is quite a bit. Look at him. He's got a purple suit on and everything. So I'm assuming that's the flax farmer. And yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Even with the lacking wheat seeds, it looks like this guy, yeah, he doesn't have a full field. They think he's just waiting for the seeds. But they are doing just fine. So we're five fields strong right now. We got a flax field. We got a forester. Uh, how's this forester doing in terms of wood? So yeah, we got a few logs in here. It doesn't seem like he gains too many logs, but it definitely is going to help me out later on for making that timber. Here's the flax seeds, though. It doesn't look like much right now. I have no idea how long it takes for them to grow. Uh, but we will wait it out and see what happens. And while we're waiting for that, we also need a crafter. So I'm looking at this space right here. This is the perfect crafting area. So we're just going to build kind of another one of those things and uh, put a crafter in here, basically. So now that we have all this room in here, we may as well add some more uh, stations, I guess you could call them. And I'm going to make this one a little bit taller because I feel like that's a little too short for my liking. And we may as well, since we have lots of stone, just finish this up and make it look a little bit more presentable. So there we go. We got a nice big hole in the wall. Uh, I think we'll close it in again just because I like the look of that. All right, and we need that workbench. So there we go. Wow, these guys are... Look at how quickly my inventory is changing now. I've never had that before. We still got crates, so that's fine. We'll put a crate right beside this just in case they need it. And there we go. So we got our workbench now. So everything looks about the same. Yes, uh, we need one more person in here. Now, I don't know. I'm just curious how they do it because basically what this does is craft things for me so I don't have to do anything in this game. Ah, you can put crafting limits on everything. That is amazing. You know what? I might do two stations then, just for fun. Just to make sure we are always kept up with everything. So, you know what? No, I think we'll just see beforehand. Let's not, you know, recruit too many people. Let's just see what or how quickly they will craft things. So, once again, we will recruit a colonist. There we go. And they should hopefully, yes, come right over here and start doing this. But actually, I need to get this set up first. So, linseed oil needs flax, makes things shiny, so that might be what flax is for. Let's just get, like, 20 for right now. Uh, things I like... Ooh, we can make him do all the coated planks and whatnot, which is basically a nicer plank. So, I'm thinking flax is just for updated-looking blocks, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, this is adobe dirt for rich people, so yeah, a lot of rich-related things. What I need is, uh, just a stockpile of stuff like this, so we're going to put... Five axes, five pickaxes. Definitely get as many arrows as possible. The more, the better. You know what? I don't want infinity because then it's going to use all my resources. So, you know what? I think a stable 976 should be good. This is great, though. Uh, in terms of crates, we'll put uh, six uh, bows. You know what? Six as well. Things are rather cheap in this game, so I'm not too worried about spending too much money. Torches, that's something I need more of. So, we'll put... Let's keep an average of 20, you know, no, that's too much. Let's keep an average of 15 torches just in there, uh, just in case we need them. And again, quivers, we'll put five. And for whatever reason, there's two options for planks, and we need more planks anyway, so let's do lots of that. Uh, we do have a forester now, so that's basically what all the forester does is make planks. Aside from that, I think we're pretty good. I don't need more shops. I don't need more mints for right now. The linseed oil, that should be fine, and everything else should be good. So we'll see how they can keep up with that demand all right i still have smelting problems though you can see the amount of gold ore. i guess gold just takes a ridiculously long time but we still got all that gold the iron seems to be oh no we still have 155 iron too so obviously smelting needs some help here so i might even recruit two so we'll get some furnaces let's just store some because we are going to be expanding out i actually already had some i totally forgot so we're just going to put again we'll just put these side by side we'll put one right here there we go and one right there and, uh, yeah, these guys are gonna be busy. Everyone's going to bed already? Holy crap, today went quick. I, I, I'm just, I guess I'm keeping busy here. Uh, we do need to recruit two more because of that, though. So, there we go. What are we at now? 23 colonists. Our food is just fine, as you can see. Everybody's coming to bed. This is great. But, yeah, overall, I think we are having a very stable environment right now. It might be smart to recruit some more guards because of the amount of people I've recruited, but... Honestly, they're holding out quite well over here. They're already starting to shoot, so it's going to be probably a pretty crazy night. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies out there. All right, let's give these uh, sleeping beauties some more light down here because uh, there's nothing more annoying than light in the middle of night. And 
<laughs> ah, they just, they just fucking chill. They just chill in the same bed. That's the greatest thing ever. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna have a long line of beds now that I know they can do that. These guys are just adorable. You, you guys, you guys are awesome. You guys don't complain about anything, and you guys just sit here all happy. So, there we go. I figured I'd light the place up a little bit more. Keep it a little bit more civilized in here. And I think I also gotta go light out, or light up the outside of the castle as well. There's really no lights out there. Alright, so in terms of he in here, it looks like everything is lit up. Actually, I didn't put lights in here, did I? So there we go. Let there be light! And everything is looking rather nice out here. Do we got a zombie? Yeah, we're just chilling right in the front. Okay, there's lots of zombies now, guys. Thankfully, it's almost daytime, so uh, that should end very, very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is put two beside the doors and then one on each side of the wall and then kind of just some in the middle here to make it look a little bit more presentable. And yeah, we're just gonna bring some more light to this place because it definitely needs it. There we go, especially on this side. It's a lot, it's a lot darker over here. All right, just like that. I know it doesn't look like much in the daytime, but it's gonna look a lot nicer at night. So yeah, I think, I think we're doing pretty good, guys. Here, how's the flax field doing? So it looks like the flax, it's gonna take a while to harvest, unfortunately. So I was hoping to be able to do this today, but it doesn't seem to be rushing its growth. So I think we're gonna end this one here, guys. We did do a lot today, and I'm feeling very, very confident about the future of this uh, place. So I think my next goal is just to see how big of a colony I can make. I like the idea of just intentionally overpopulating a colony just uh, by food output and seeing how many zombies we can survive. So probably in the next episode, we'll focus on expanding this out a little bit because we've pretty much addressed all the current features of the game. Obviously, we still kind of need to see what Flax does, but it's looking like it's just a visual item to upgrade your castle. Aside from that, we're doing really, really well. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.